Today's the day that I finally finished building my dream gaming setup. And in total, I think I spent around $10,000. From multiple generations of consoles to a crappy gaming laptop, gaming has always been a huge part of my life. Over the past few years, I've seen some of the dopest setups online and have always thought to myself how cool it would be to make one myself. And so I did, but there's still one more piece missing and it looks like it was just delivered. So let's go get it. Yes, we were waiting on this keyboard. It was to match the all white theme I have going on. And now that the final piece has arrived, here it is, my $10,000 gaming setup. Before we get started, I didn't buy all of this at once. My setup has evolved over a long time and this has been years in the making. And if there's anything you guys wanted to buy from this setup, everything will be linked down below. But anyways, this is a setup too after all, so let's jump into it. Let's start off with the foundation of the setup, the desk. This is the L-shaped standing desk from Autonomous and it rents you about $1,200. I bought it because I actually thought I'd use the standing feature, but I was completely wrong. By the way, we're gonna be adding a money counter to the corner to prove that this is actually $10,000. And later we're gonna be calling three creators to rate my setup. If I don't get at least one good rating, I'm gonna give everything away. All right, now for the most expensive part of the setup, the PC. I just built this PC recently and it's what I use for editing and streaming, so I needed something pretty powerful. Let's go through the specs, speedrun style. For the GPU, we have the EVGA RTX 3080 Ti, CPU AMD Ryzen 9 5900X, motherboard Asus Prime X570 Pro. For RAM, we have 64 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance DDR4, two two terabyte Western Digital SSDs. The cooler, we have the NZXT Kraken Z73. And for the power supply, we have the Cooler Master V850. And all of it is inside the NZXT H7 Elite. And in total, this was about $3,000, but that was because GPU prices were pretty high. Nowadays, I think this build would be a little bit cheaper. Next up are the items that I get asked about the most on TikTok, my monitors. We've got a triple monitor set up, but let's start off with the one that stands out the most, the vertical monitor. This is the Samsung CHD90, a 49 inch ultra wide monitor that retails for about $1,000 and is being held up by my Vivo arm, which is about $100. I just use this monitor for chat when I'm streaming, Spotify, Discord, nothing too major. I saw some people do the vertical ultra wide on TikTok and I thought it was the most ridiculous thing ever. So I had to do it too. And it gets quite a reaction. All right. You ready to see this? Bro, <laughs> bro, that's as big as my mirror at home. No way, no. Bro. I can't even touch the top. Bro, you're looking at the moon. Right there. But it, it's live. It's it's dope. It is live. <laughs> All right, now let's take a look at the dual stack. For my top monitor, we have the Asus ProArt 328Q. It's what I use for editing because of the color accuracy. And I bought this around three or four years ago, and at the time it was about $900. For the bottom monitor, we have a 170 hertz Acer Predator 32 inch 2K monitor. This is what I use for gaming. At the time of purchase, it was about $800. And to hold these up, I needed something that could hold 32 inch monitors as well as their weight. So I went with the Ergotron dual mount, which cost me about $415. Super pricey, but it gets the job done. All right, peripherals. For my keyboard, I'm now using the high High ground Dreamcast keyboard, but I also have the high ground Attack on Titan keyboard and a Ducky 1-2 Mini SF. And I connect them using the coiled cable from High Star. For the mouse, we have the Logitech G Pro Superlight. And for mouse pads, I have four different mouse pads from Desker, each about $30. All right, now let's look at my streaming equipment. The camera is a Sony a6500 with a Sigma 16mm 1.4 lens, which in total is about $1,540. And it's all being held up by my Ulanzi desk mount. This thing is not that bad. I bought it on my early days of streaming and have been using it ever since. And I only have one light, which is mounted on the camera, the Aperture Amaran ALMX. For my mic, I have the HyperX Quadcast S. I would love a Shure SM7B, but I really don't need it right now. This mic works perfectly fine. And the arm I have it on is the Rode PSA1. And the headset is the HyperX Stinger Pro Wireless. I also have a Stream Deck XL, which is really dope. And I also have this audio mixer I don't use, the Beacon Mix Create. The software is super funky. So until there's a software update that fixes everything, this thing is just gonna stay on the sideline. Can't forget the chair. I use the Gabrielli Ergonomic Mesh Chair, and this thing is about $289. It's not the best chair ever, but it's not that bad. That's pretty much the main parts of my setup, and that's already over $10,800. That's not even including any of the lights behind me, the lights in the panels behind the monitors, or any of the decorations I have on my desk. Make sure to keep watching because the next step is to get this seal of approval from other creators, and later we're gonna be calling three of them to see if this setup is valid or not. But some of you guys may be curious about the decorations, so let's go through those first. Starting off with this mini shelf, we have a whole bunch of random items like the Tesla tequila, the Lego Infinity Gauntlet and Lego Bonsai Tree, a custom controller from Scuff, and my 
ducky keyboard leaning up against the entire shelf. I really like the all white theme with green accents, and that's why I have a bunch of real and fake plants laying around here. I also have these really cool Hunter Hunter light boxes. I have one by the fake plants by the shelf and another one inside of my PC. On the wall behind the monitors, we have these 3D art panels. I wish these were actually helpful when it comes to acoustics, but they're really just for looks, like they don't do anything. It gave me circuit board vibes, and I ended up channeling a Govi light rope through the little divots of the panel. I thought that looked really clean. And some other lights that we have here are the Govi flow light bars. Right now, they're just sitting behind the monitors. Oh, and next to the desk, we have my mini fridge. This thing comes in clutch when I'm streaming, even though my fridge is literally like 15 feet away. And now onto the back wall, this is probably the weakest part of the setup slash room. We got 21 nano leaf panels, and I don't even know what this design is, to be honest. I was trying to go for a rocket ship, but like, I don't know what design you could do with 21 panels. If you guys have any design ideas, let me know. Next, we have a custom neon sign with my social media handle, and these custom tube lights that I made with a clear tube and some Gobi light strips. They're all right looking. Here in the corner, we have the Ikea lack shelf with a whole bunch of random items on it. And behind that is a little corner lamp. And that's pretty much the entire setup. There's still a lot of work that could be done to it, but overall, I'm super happy where it's at. But we're not done yet. We still need to call three creators and get their verbal approval of this setup. You're probably wondering, why do I even care what these people think? Well, I'm new to the game. And if a bigger creator says my setup looks cool, then obviously I'm doing something right. It's like when you go to prison and you need to befriend the biggest person there. That's pretty much the same thing, right? Also, I'm so confident that if this setup doesn't get at least one good rating, I'll give everything away. Yo, what's going on, bro? What's up, man? Yo, so I was just wondering, what do you think of this setup? Rate it one out of 10. Uh, I think it's like a two, man. Like what? Are you? He really just gave me a two and hung up on me. I, I really thought he was gonna say 10 out of 10. That's insane. All right, let's just call the next person. Yo. Yo, what's going on, bro? What's up, dude? I wanted you to give my setup a, a rating of one through 10. All right, one through 10. I, I mean, it, it's kind of like a four right now. And it's, that's the only, re the only reason is because you don't have a gutsy mouse pad, bro. You're running, you're running death group. You need, you need to get a gutsy mouse pad and at least it'll be like, like a seven or, or, or an eight. All right, man, th thanks. Yeah, no problem, bro. Thank you, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, man, th thanks. <sighs> bro, today is not my day. All right, we have one more person to call, so let's just get this over with. At this point, I'm super nervous. If I get a bad rating here, I have to give everything away. Yo! Yo, what's going on, man? What's up, what's up, uh? All right, I just had a quick question for you. What do you think of my gaming setup? It's, uh... This was it. Whatever he would say next could change everything. It's good, it's good. It's really good, actually. No, I'm a big fan. Um... Uh... It's gotta be like an 8 out of 10 for sure. The monitor, the vertical monitor. Yeah, that's an 8 out of 10. Yeah? Yeah. Dude, okay, thank you so much. That means a lot to me. You know, I spent so much money on this. It's brutal out here, but thank you so much, bro. I appreciate it. I'll see you later, man. See ya. Honestly, I am completely fine with an 8. With that being said, the setup is finally complete. And since we got a good rating, that means I don't have to give anything away, but it is time to take everything down. Subscribe.